This is a, the first of a series of videos that look at some problems that you should understand well uh, in preparation for the final exam. Here's the first one. Solve the equation. There's always more than one way to solve an equation, but here looking at this equation you might choose to multiply the minus one-third, distribute it through this subtraction. Another alternative is to multiply both sides of the equation by a minus 3. In both of those cases we'll be able to get the x out of the parentheses. In the second case we'd we'll be able to also eliminate that fraction. We choose to multiply both sides of the equation by a minus 3, leaving on the left hand side a minus 147 and on the right hand side just that part that's left inside of the parentheses because this minus 3 multiplies the minus 1 third and just gives us a 1. Now we still want to undo all the things that have been done to x. The last thing that's being done to x on the right hand side is subtracting 15 so we'll add 15 to both sides of the equation and then divide both sides of the equation by 12. So here we are adding 15 to both sides of the equation and then once that's there it is, 15 added to both sides of the equation, leaving this equation. And then finally we <coughs> uh, multiply both sides of the equation by a 1 12th. That's the same as dividing by the 1 12th to eliminate this 12. So there's our solution. x is equal to a minus 11. Second problem we'll look at is problem number 2. Here again we're going to solve an equation. In this case, there's a couple of places that a distributive property can be applied, which would allow us to get our get a better control over the x. So beginning with our original equation, we multiply a negative through negative two over this subtraction, and we multiply ten over this addition. On the right hand side there's this negative 3 and this 40 that can be added together to give us a 37. At this point we can now begin to gather all of our x's together. We can do that on either side of the equation either by adding 10x to both sides of the equation therefore eliminating x on this side and getting all the x to the right hand side or adding a negative 10x to both sides of the equation. Here we've chosen to add a negative 10x to both sides of this equation to both sides of this equation. That leaves us with a negative 20x plus 6 on the left hand side, and it leaves us with 37 on the right hand side. Now we'll subtract 6 from both sides and divide both sides by a negative 20 in that order. First we subtract the 6 from both sides, leaving us this equation, then divide both sides by a negative 20, or multiply both sides by a negative 1 over 20, and x ends up being a negative 31 over 20, as you can see there.